Chapter 6 is about equations and inequalities. What will you learn? You will learn how to solve equations using substitution. You are going to write and solve one-step equations with adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. You will also write and graph inequalities. We will find solutions to inequalities. Oh, we were on page 333 in your workbook. At the top, there's some vocabulary that we're going to visit throughout this unit. The addition property of equality, division property of equality, equal signs, equation, talking about guessing and checking, but also specifically how to solve a problem. But in real life, since we use estimation all the time, we're going to do a guess and check. Inequalities, inverse operation, that means opposite operations, multiplication property of equality, solutions, solve, and then the subtraction property. What I like about this back side is it gives you two different examples, things we've done in class, um, but these are review items, such as how to subtract with borrowing and decimals, and then how to uh, add or subtract fractions with unlike denominators, you have to get common denominators. So if this is something you forget, this would be a good page 334 to come back and revisit. Let's get started on page 335. We're going to highlight some of the vocab terms that you see off to the right, and then it's explained on this page. An equation is a mathematical sentence showing that two expressions are equal. It will have an equal sign. So let's highlight this. We know it's an equation because it has an equal sign. Here's the definition, and here's an example. 3x equals 6. We know that these are equal to each other because of the equal sign. You're going to learn pretty soon that the x stands for a variable, and that's a number that you just might not know what it is yet, but when you solve this, you end up figuring it out. Solve equations using substitution. When you solve an equation, you find the value for the given variable that makes an equation true. The value is called solution. You may be given a specified set of values to use to find a solution of an equation. You can determine whether a value is a solution by using the substitution. We're going to go over this example down here. x plus 3.5 equals 7.9. Anytime you see a variable, you can say what. So what plus 3.5 is 7.9, and they gave us some choices. 3.4, 4.2, or 4.4. We're going to use substitution to help us solve. Where you see an x, you're going to put the number. So it's 3.4 plus 3.5, 7.9. Nope, equals 6.9. Try the next one. It's 4.2 plus 3.5, 7.9. Nope, that doesn't work either. 4.4 plus 3.5, yes, that does equal 7.9. And that is how you use substitution. Go ahead and turn the page. We're going to do an example together. We are on page 336 and this table right here in the middle. Example 1. Is 3, 4, or 5 the solution of P plus 9.7 equals 13.7? They already have this problem pretty much completed for you. We're just filling out yes or no. When I take 3 and I substitute it for P, 3 plus 9.7 is 12.7. Does that equal 13.7? No. Do the same thing with 4. 4 plus 9.7 is 13.7. Yes, that works, and that is our answer. I don't have to move on to the next number, but we're going to show that it's not equal anyways because it's already done for you. 5 plus 9.7 is 14.7.
Let's go to the bottom and try it ourselves. Is 1, 2, or 3 the solution to this equation? It means when I take these numbers and I plug them in for m, it will equal 2 and 4 fifths. Let's use rewriting. Instead of m, we're going to put a 1. 1 plus 4 fifths equals 2 and 4 fifths. If I combine these together, I get 1 and 4 fifths, so no, this does not work. What if I do the 2? 2 plus 4 fifths, is that 2 and 4 fifths? Yes. We're going to do one more problem, try to use some estimation. It's actually at the top of this page on the talk about it. Is there another value that is a solution of 4.5x equals 135? Explain. Well, the first thing that we have to explain is that when a number and a letter are side by side, you multiply. So let's write that out. 4.5 times x equals 135. The proper way to solve this problem is by using an opposite to solve. Let's first maybe come up with a number that we want to multiply to see if we can get 135. Pick any number you want. We're going to use something really low, like 10. So go ahead and see, does 4.5 times 10 equal 135. No, it does not. This side equals 45, and this side is 135. This is really, really low. So I know that I have to go up much higher than 10 in order for it to equal 135. Let me show you the proper way of solving and getting a quicker answer. Since 4.5 is times x, if we do the opposite, which is divide, we're going to use a fraction bar to help us. A fraction bar means divide. On the left side, I get 4.5 divided by 4.5. Anything divided by itself is 1. So we get 1x equals, now we have to do 135 divided by 4.5. If you have a calculator, go ahead and use that, or we could set up our long division. When you divide these, you end up getting 30. Go ahead and flip the page. We're going to skip that example. We're going to go right to page 338 and do the check for understanding. This year, students ate 100 pounds of broccoli in the Walnut Springs Middle School cafeteria. This is 6 and 1 fourth times as much as they ate in the previous year. Let's highlight important information. You can use the guess and check revise strategy, or what I'm going to show you is just simply how to set up and solve the problem. Your equation is 6 and 1 fourth b times 100. Express our problem down below. When they're side by side, you multiply. We're going to spell that out here in just a second once we rewrite this as an improper fraction. 25 fourths times b equals 100. So we want to figure out what times 25 fourths is going to get us 100. Instead of multiplying by 25 fourths, we can get rid of it by using the reciprocal. 4 20 fifths. Put this over 1 and times it by 4, 20 fifths. By doing this, on this left-hand side, we get 1. 
4 and 4 cancel out, and 25 and 25 cancel out. Oops. I'm only left with 1 times b. So b equals. On this side, I have 100 times 4 and 1 times 25. When we do 400 divided by 25, we get 16. Go ahead and pause the video now. We're going to work on practice problems.